Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through the essential preparation that you need to do to ensure a successful shamanic Reiki journey. So if you've not met me before, my name is Faye from FayeJohnston.com and I have been practicing Reiki for 20 years, which led me to discover my shamanic practice and since then I have been taught by teachers in England, Scotland, both North and South America, and it is my mission to help you successfully incorporate Reiki and shamanism together into your practice to benefit you and your clients. So please like and subscribe to the channel by pressing the button below so that more people can hear about the video and get these tips. So just to dive in, what makes what makes a successful shamanic Reiki journey? It is all in the preparation, okay? And I know from experience that the time I have, the times I have not prepared myself and my space properly, I have not received clear information for myself or my clients. So it's really, this preparation is really, really key. It doesn't take long, but the benefits are 10,000 fold. Okay, so number one, preparation of yourself. So you know this, if you are going to do give somebody a Reiki treatment, you want to be make sure that you are calm and grounded. You want to make sure that you are going to be a clear, receptive channel for Reiki, for connection with your spirit guides and team, and to channel the energy and information and guidance that you receive, okay? So there are many different ways that you might already use to prepare yourself. Some people like to meditate or do yoga, connect with nature, other people might just simply like to tune in and spend 15 minutes giving yourself a calming self-reiki treatment so that you can get yourself ready and in the zone. You don't want to be trying to fit in a journey in the middle of the day when you haven't got time either side. I think that's the recipe for disaster when you think, oh, quick, I've got a quick half an hour. I know, I'll squeeze in this journey to get this information. No. Let, from experience, that is not going to work. You just want to make sure you've got time either side for you to prepare yourself to feel calm so that you can be this open channel and also time the other side when you've come out of the journey to integrate, to mm, to let the information settle and so that you can plan your action of how I'm going to integrate this and how I can put this information into practice for myself or my clients. So Preparation of self is key, but also preparation of your space. And again, if you have a professional Reiki practice where you are already teaching teaching clients or um, treating clients, you will also you will already have the the ways which you like to pr prepare your space. So you want to make sure your space is physically clean and it wants to be energetically clean so no stagnant energy no energy which is not needed there you want to make sure the space is filled with light um, and protected by your guides or beings of light that you invite into the space so i you know as a simple way to as a simple method to create space we can invite Reiki to flow, we can sit in, um, and, and beam Reiki out into the room, we can do visualization techniques for um, um, holding space with bringing in light, we can use the Reiki symbols from Reiki level 2, and we can use different types of cleansing herbs. And I'm sure there's another video on my channel which talks all about these, since if you know me and you know my work, I love to work with different types of plants. So also, you might want to, um, as part of creating your sacred space, you might want to work, maybe you work with the medicine wheel, maybe you like to call in the directions, calling in the spirits, calling in your guides. It, everybody has a different way of creating sacred space and you will know the ways that work for you. If and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So let me know the, the way that you like to create space. Um, and if you'd like to know the ways I create space, then let me know in the comments and I can, sh I can sure enough um, do a video around that. Um, so the third, um, the third point for preparation is deciding on your method. What method are you going to use for this shamanic Reiki journey? So most often people might use um, the repetitive beat of the drum. So working with a drum or a rattle. So in this case, are you going to be doing it for yourself? 
Is someone going to be doing it for you? Or are you going to be using a drumming track? Okay, all of those require a slightly different preparation for yourself and your space. If you're going to be lying down, you might want to make sure you've got a blanket and you've got a, um, an eye mask, for example, so that you can um, get into the zone easier. Or you might want to add movement to your journey um, by drumming and um, and um, yeah, moving and allowing the spirit and the guidance to move through you. Um, sometimes also I like to journey by walking in nature. So there's lots of different ways to 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 journey. Um, and also you've got to decide, you know, where are you going on this journey and who are you meeting? What guides are you planning to connect with? And this brings me into the fourth point, okay, this part of the essential preparation for your journey is the intention. So you know how important intention is. It is the fuel. It is the focus for us. When we give Reiki, classic Reiki uh, treatments with a client, we are asking the client, what is your healing intention? Because it's this intention, the energy goes, the energy will flow to where the intention is directed, okay? So this is really key for your journey. So asking yourself, what am I looking for in this journey? Is it guidance? Is it healing? What information am I seeking? Is it information for myself? Is it information for a client? Um, what guides am I hoping to connect with that can show me this information? Where will I find them? So all of this is kind of around this, this preparation that you need to do to tune into, okay? And I often like to write down my intention so I've got the words in front of me so I can kind of see it written down because I'm a very visual person person and then I will hold that intention in my heart while I begin my journey because it's that intention that is going to take me to where the information is and I can do if you'd like to hear and um, throw me a comment below if you'd like me to do another video around intention setting because intention setting is is key um, and wording intention um, can get different results. Okay, so throw me a comment below if you would like to hear about intention setting. And the fifth point to uh, talk about here in terms of your self-preparation for your shamanic Reiki journeys, okay, is to just check in with your attitude, okay. So, you've got yourself prepared, you're all calm, you've called in the, you know, the spirit world and the compassionate beings into your space, your space is ready, you're ready, you've got the intention, you know where you're going, you're all fired up, you know how you're going to get there, you've got your drum ready or your track, okay, so what's your attitude, okay, just check in with what's going on here, you want to keep it light-hearted, okay, the most successful journeys are there. you're curious you're the chart you're in this childlike curiosity looking with so you want to keep it light okay even though the, the the intention might be a serious one to kind of find out information to help a client with healing an issue that they're doing you want to keep yourself in this open light-hearted state okay and that means releasing expectations often as practitioners we can put pressure on ourselves because we're really wanting to find helpful information for clients and we 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 want to we want to get to know this our, our, our spirit guides a little bit more so we're kind of really in our hearts we're, we're kind of really seeking this information earnestly okay but just release the expectation on yourself take the pressure off it is what it is it will be what it will be okay and so that brings me to this other point here is trusting trusting the process trusting reiki trusting yourself and your guides and the the method that you are using okay um release that expectation on yourself and release also the inner critic that wants to pop in sometimes okay and say nah i think you're doing this wrong nah that intention doesn't seem right nah this doesn't yeah mm you're making this all up this is all in your head this is all in your imagination okay let all that go and step into that place of trust step into your power step into your light get reiki to flow through you connect with reiki okay and just surrender to what is remember you are the channel and when we're asking reiki to flow and when we're stepping into the 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 journey space we are stepping it we are stepping into the 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 space of being the hollow bone the channel okay so it 
you are just allowing yourself to be guided, allowing the energy to move through you, which basically means get out of your own way, okay? Leave all your stuff behind and just allow yourself to simply be Reiki. And this brings me to the second point, the final point, and I'm going to shut up soon. Open all of your senses, okay? Remember, this journey process, it's not just like a watching a movie, um, it's not just like receiving like a download of information if you're an audio person. It's actually a full sensory experience, okay? So get ready to embody that. You're not kind of lying back and getting in the flow and watching a movie. You're going to experience this as a sensory, as an emotional, as a mental experience, okay? So just check in and get ready for that and then get your intention going and you're ready to go for a beautiful successful wonderful shamanic reiki journey so there is a shamanic reiki flow treatment checklist in the link below to guide you through the process of working with shamanic reiki with a client so download that now so those are my tips thank you for watching please subscribe and like below and share with others okay